With the left trying to ban so-called assault rifles, the Second Amendment is currently under fire. Too bad for liberals bashing the NRA, an Oregon softball league just put every whining brat in their place by dishing out quite the brutal smackdown. The constant attacks on gun owners have become rather tiresome in recent days, and law-abiding citizens who practice their Second Amendment rights have become fed up. However, that isn't stopping the left from their non-stop attacks on our constitutionally protected rights. In fact, Entitled liberals are so hellbent on doing what they can to get guns banned that they've most recently targeted children. Yes, you read that right. Not only are they using 16-year-olds to push their agenda after the Florida shooting, but they're now also attacking other kids who directly oppose what they're trying to do. Too bad for them. The softball teams that they've most recently decided to attack aren't your average pushovers. Even better yet, the girls most recently put the left in their place with a brutal smackdown. According to reports, the entire ordeal started back in January when the group announced a ruffle intended for fundraising purposes. Although no one batted an eye when it was first announced, liberals have descended on the team since the recent events in Florida. As it turns out, the Lady Dragons fast-pitch softball program in Dallas, Oregon, has been selling raffle tickets for an AR-15, and it is bringing in some serious cash. Of course, given what recently happened in Florida, liberals have started to put up a stink, but they weren't prepared for the response they would get. Come to find out, the softball group basically just told liberals to shove it and that they were still going to keep the raffle going. Furthermore, they informed everyone that what they were doing was perfectly legal. Right now, desperate liberals are doing everything in their power to shut down the raffle, but nothing seems to be working. In fact, they've even gone to the local school district to complain about what was happening, but that didn't do them any good either. We have nothing to do with it, Michelle Johnston, superintendent of the Dallas School District, said. This is exactly the problem with liberals, they put too much emotion and not enough thought into what they're doing. Sure, we don't want bad people to get their hands on guns, but that doesn't excuse trying to take away guns from law-abiding citizens. Just like we don't want people to drink and drive, but that doesn't mean we are going to make it harder for people to buy cars. And, honestly, if they didn't feel the need to complain when the raffle started, then they shouldn't be harassing people now that they've decided to get up on their high horse. Sadly, even Facebook is doing their part to apply pressure where they think it's needed, trying to make the outrage look bigger than it is. At this point, we know that at least one person's comment was deleted and their profile blocked after expressing support for the raffle. It's really sad, Dallas City Council President Mickey Garris, a Lady Dragons board member, wrote in his post. We are trying to do something good for our community by providing funding opportunities for youth sports, and it resulted in a few people dictating to the majority what they deemed inappropriate. Burris also noted that many tickets had already been sold for the raffle, meaning there is clearly more support for the fundraiser than liberals would have you believe. 
In the end, the organization sold all 400 tickets at $25 each, earning them a whopping $10,000 for their troubles. Whether the left likes to admit it or not, many Americans love and respect our Second Amendment and actively practice our rights. Liberals can try to shut us down, but just as Delta Airlines recently learned after being denied a $38 million tax break for spitting in the faces of NRA members, the American people are standing with the Constitution. Those who ignore this reality will ultimately pay the price in the long run.